Okay guys, welcome back to our next tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to make the camera move with our character or our game object. Um, we're going to do this in two different ways. The first way is going to be very simple. All we're going to do is drag the get uh, drag the camera onto our, our, our game object and that way it's going to follow wherever the game object moves. And the second way is we're actually going to write some code and in this we're going to add in a little bit of delay. Uh, so let us jump into it and let's try and get this working. So the first way is the simple way. All we have to do is take our camera, drag it onto our player or a game object, whatever you want to add it onto, and that way, just as simple as that, now our camera is going to move with the game object we uh, added, to, added it onto. So if we go into our, our game and we move our game object, you'll be able to see that the camera now moves with it. So because the scene, I didn't really pla uh, set this up proper more in a good way, but here you can see this is our scene and everything that's in this white block is what you will see um, rendered by the camera, which is over here. But if I zoom out of here into our scene and I move our object, uh, you'll be able to see that the camera is actually moving along with our uh, game object. So if I move this from left to right, you can see that there is moving in our scene. And then if I jump, you'll be able to see that it actually moves with our, it does move with our game object. So that is the simple way of doing it. And the next way of doing it is to, first of all, let's go and take this out of our, our game object. And we are going to add a script onto our camera and assign it a target to follow. And the target in our case will be our player game object. So let's go ahead and create an, an extra C sharp script and name this camera. And then we can go click on our main character in our in our hierarchy. And after this is finished loading, we can go and add on our camera. Yeah, our camera. Our camera script onto our main camera. We'll save that. And then we can open this. So in here we're gonna want three uh, three different um, uh, serialized fields so that we can drag and drop things in the inspector. So let's go ahead and create these. We'll have a well, first of all a serialized field. Um, this is going to be a transform. Let's try that again. Transform, uh, and this is going to be our target. So we're going to drag and drop our target into this, and that way our camera will follow whatever is assigned to the target. Uh, the next one is going to be same thing, serialized field, it doesn't really need to be a serialized field, but if you want to change the value in the inspector and have a look at what it, um, try and make it a bit more smooth, then you can do that. But for, uh, for now, let's just keep it like that so you can go ahead and play with it in the inspector. So this is going to be a float, and this is going to be a smooth, uh, smooth speed. So this is going to be how smooth the transition is between um, between the movements, between the two points, so this, we're just going to set this as 0 0.0, 0 sorry, 0 0.125. Uh, and then the next one is going to be same thing, serialized field. This is going to be a vector 3, and this is going to be the offset. So this is going to be the offset between our player and, well not a player, but any any game object you assign the target to and the camera. So obviously you don't want the camera to be sitting on top of the game object, otherwise you won't see anything. Or you won't see the game object. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and delete our star because we don't really need that. Okay, and then we will go ahead in our update function, this is where we're going to write all the code. So in here we'll say vector3. Uh, and then we'll say desired position is equal to the target dot position uh, plus the offset. Did I spell that correctly? No, I didn't. So let's go ahead and correct that. Just like that. And then what we're going to do next is we are going to say vector 3. Uh, smoothed position is equal to vector three dot low um, 
and then in here let's go and say transform dot position uh, desired position and then with our smooth smooth speed so what that's gonna do is gonna uh, take out our position of um, the camera uh, and then it's gonna move it from the current position into the desired position with our smooth uh, smooth speed and then after that we want to say transform dot position is equal to our smooth but uh, it's not smooth speeds smooth let's copy that because that's long so a smooth position like that so that is going to move our camera from point a to point b um as we tell or as our our target position moves so let's go ahead and assign these now so if we click on our main camera we will now be able to uh, see here in our camera script on the inspector we can see we have those references that we can drag and drop our, our, our game objects into so uh, we're going to use our player as our target so we'll drag that into our target field and then we will go ahead and play this and just see what we want to set our our offset to so here you can see you can't see anything because the the uh, the position of the camera is is actually right like right on top of the player so if we increase these values you'll be able to see that um, that it appears so if we set this to probably like minus one I think is fine so minus one is fine and then X and Y is just gonna move um, the camera from side to side and up and down so if we set set the x value to about 4 maybe and then we'll set the y value to let's say about 2 so that looks good so let's remember there's 4 2 and minus 1 and we'll go out of this and we'll put them back in there so 4 2 minus 1 I think it was already forgotten but yeah you can't really save things in game in game mode so we'll have to resave that now and then let's go ahead and play this and now you should see like a slight delay between uh, movement so if I jump, you can see that the camera is still moving, but it's not moving as fast as the player. So if you if I zoom into this the scene, you will be able to see that small delay. So if I jump, you can see that the character as it lands, the camera is still moving down. And then as I move, um, left or right you can see that there's a slight delay between the actual game object moving and the camera movement so you can see that looks pretty cool but there is this like like glitch or like delayed movement like i don't know what you call it but to fix that let's go ahead and change from update to fixed update so hopefully this will now give us a much smoother move so let's wait for that to load and then we can go ahead and play the game. So let's see, is that better? So there you go. So it's not, it is doing a little bit but I think that's just because my laptop is struggling a bit and it's getting a bit slow. But you can see there is, there is a big improvement now. So now there isn't that much delay between like, it's almost sort of like it's lagging a little bit. There isn't that much anymore. So that's good. So that is the basically two very simple ways on how to um, control the camera. Well, not really control it, but how to allow the camera to follow our game objects. So the first way was obviously just dragging and dropping the camera onto the game object. And then the second way was using the lerp function um, with a couple of lines of code that allows us to add in the small, small delay between movement. So if that was helpful, I... Um, ask you to please subscribe to the channel and like the videos and yeah um, new tutorials every Monday Wednesday and Friday so if that's something interesting please subscribe and I will see you in the next video so thank you and goodbye